Hey guys, it's another mini awesome cast. Mini, just a few minutes of your time to get a little bit of tech news that's interesting us around here at the awesome cast Sogatron Media offices. And this one came out of Valve. There's so much stuff going on with Mobile World Con conference excuse me mobile world conference uh great rundown of all the headlines over at dailytechnewsshow.com one of our favorite shows around here of course uh but uh one of the bigger things uh i thought coming out and we'll, we'll see what this turns into actually is actually the uh you know according to the the verge has a bunch of these pictures over here of uh and they say this is valve's vr headset the htc vive and it's crazy ugly um <laughs> <laughs> so we have the Oculus Rift, we have Google Cardboard, we have so much going on. We have a video that, oh wait, this is actually a look at the video. There it is, another big ugly headset for your face, but this time Valve is behind it. And I also want to notice that like, Valve was behind originally, if you guys have been looking at the uh, Cast AR that's been around. Um, you know, which is a device that's more augmented reality than virtual reality, kind of in the vein of what we have with the HoloLens. This is very interesting that we do have Valve teaming up with somebody like HTC. Valve is not a hardware maker for the most part. They're, I think they're having a little bit of trouble getting their Steam OS platform off the ground for the most part. Um, and this is looks like uh, you turn into a freaking bumblebee at this point. Uh, but it is intriguing to have them, to have Steam, which is arguably the biggest gaming platform in the world. I think their number of users has been... Um, you know, just staggering over the years. How long have they been around? You don't lose a user when you have a new generation, for instance, when you have Steam. Um, my game collection on there is absolutely redonkulous. And now you're going to attach that to virtual reality. I think this uh, puts a lot of power behind it. Don't know how it works. Don't know how good it is. Uh, you know, and also, why does this have the look that it does if you guys are following us on video here? These are all apparently sensors. It looks like, I, the, from the stuff I've been reading about this, they're really looking to have a full room experience, which really scares the bejesus out of me. Because it sounds like they kind of want you walking around with this thing on your face. Um, a little, little weird, especially you with the small apartments and awkward living rooms. Um, I, I think I'm included in that in, in, in my spatial proportions, a classic Pittsburgh home. Um... But still, it, it, you know, this is another 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 player, another big time player, another big time uh, uh, investment. We've got Valve and HTC teaming up. We got Facebook putting money behind the most promising Oculus VR. You know, it is you know impossible for somebody like me to really kind of compare these things other than anecdotally, just from VR as a concept. You know, is this something that we're really gonna get? Is this something that we're really gonna get? in our homes on a regular basis. We don't have a killer app for this thing yet. We really don't. You can't tell me exactly what I'm gonna do with virtual reality. Augmented reality, it makes a little more sense. It's a helper kind of thing. But where is this gonna lead? Um, we're like, ooh, v virtual reality, the thing's gonna make me nauseous and I don't know, walk around Paris, I guess. Um, I don't know, but it's another player in the game, it, which makes it more interesting, which makes it more possible for this to take up. This renaissance of VR technology has been really, really intriguing. And where's it going to stand? Where's this? Where's it going to stand next to the cast, cast ARs and the the uh, Windows uh, uh, Hololens in these days? What do you think? What do you think is going to win out? What do you think is your next uh, next generation platform? Um, and these uh, something like that could any of these could be as revolutionary, but not so much. I mean, it's not like we're going to be walking around with these things like we do our phones and our, our fancy new smart watches or anything like that. But gaming, it's a whole different story. But a bad one for peripherals. Let me know what you think at AwesomeCast on the Twitter. I'm at Soratron. Uh, follow us at uh, YouTube.com slash and awesome cast all the links and everything are at awesomecast.net please join us 6 30 p.m eastern time our uh, guest for this week actually from emote.com he's a tedx grandview speaker uh worked with him on a couple uh, uh projects and shows uh over the past couple of years matt keener is scheduled to join us about 6 30 p.m eastern time live.awesomecast.net we'll see you then
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.